Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the hyperglycemic and hypoglycemic hormones of the body. Kind of big words here, but nothing, nothing uh, too uh, difficult. A hyperglycemic hormone, hyper meaning high, right? Hyperglycemic hormone is simply a hormone that raises our blood glucose or blood sugar levels, okay? So I want to quickly just show you the hormones that raise our blood glucose levels. We've got glucagon being really the most specific one, okay? Glucagon, of course, comes from the pancreas. It comes from the alpha cell of the pancreas, which is considered a, 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 a islets of Langerhans or pancreatic islet cell, whatever you want to call it. It's an alpha, it comes from that alpha cell. And um, it is that really specific hormone that is going to raise your blood sugar levels when you're in between meals, right? You haven't eaten for a while, you know, Maybe, maybe you ate breakfast, but you haven't eaten in quite a few hours. It's, it's getting to lunchtime, or maybe it is lunchtime, or even after lunch. You're getting hungry, right? And your blood sugar is dropping, and glucagon is going to be secreted to keep those blood sugar levels elevated. Okay? Growth hormone is another one. Growth hormone actually helps increase blood sugar levels as well. Um, it does a lot of that. Uh, when exercising, because when you're exercising, you stimulate growth hormone. Also, the first two hours of sleep, your body secretes growth hormone. Those are all things that would um, help keep blood sugar levels elevated. Of course, when we're sleeping at night, we're not eating, right? We're in a fasting state. So the, the, these hormones, and, and again, you'll see here epinephrine and norepinephrine and cortisol as well, they all help uh, keep those blood sugar levels elevated during a fasting state. Again, growth hormone comes from the anterior pituitary, okay? Epinephrine and norepinephrine come from the adrenal medulla, and cortisol comes from the adrenal cortex, okay? So real quickly, those are hyperglycemic hormones. Now, the interesting thing is that the hypoglycemic hormones, there's only one, right? These hormones, or hormone, I guess I should put hormone here, right? This hormone, of course, is going to decrease blood sugar levels. So when does that occur? I've eaten a meal, I've literally, am in the process of eating or just eating, right? So we're talking like immediately after eating, our blood sugar levels are going to naturally rise because we took in food, okay? And insulin's gonna be secreted to bring the blood sugar levels down to normal again, okay? So this, hormone is secreted basically during and immediately after a meal, okay? To bring our blood sugar levels back down to a normal level. This also comes from the pancreas. This is from the beta cell of the pancreas. Okay, and this is the interesting part. Like I said, it's only one hormone to bring down blood sugar levels. So it kind of makes sense that people struggle typically with what? Elevated blood sugar levels. We have a lot more hormones contributing to the raising of blood sugar levels, and of course food in general does that too, um, and we only have the one hormone to bring it back down. Now, if we're healthy, we're eating well, we're of normal weight, it's not really an issue, insulin works well. But when we get into uh, obesity and poor diet, lack of exercise, insulin, as we know, um, insulin receptors can become oversaturated and resistant to insulin, and we call that type 2 diabetes. So that's where, obviously, it's a very common problem. In fact, that is the most common metabolic disease in the world, which makes it super common, uh, and that's, of course, our issue with insulin. So keep that in mind as well. Um, again, we have more details on the endocrine system in other videos, so you can watch those. Uh, we have another video on the categories of hormones and what hormones fall under each category. So you can watch that. But for now, just a quick rundown on hyper and hypoglycemic hormones. I hope that helps. Till next time, good luck and good studying.